hi guys this is Kritik and today in this video I will be talking about how you can use your mouse cursor or mouse which represents this cursor on the window so how you can use your mouse to play Microsoft Flight Simulator and use it as a yoke control or which in Airbus you can call it as a side stick control or to even control your rudder at the same time and just change profiles with one click button so I have made three profiles for that because on YouTube you know that there are no profiles and there were few videos which had profiles but now the link is not working so I decided to make one profile for myself test it out and then give it to you guys so I have created profiles which is in this folder of the virtual controller if you don't know about this then so I will tell you about this quickly so you need two things to control or use your mouse as a yoke or Rudder. The first one is the virtual controller and VJoy. So the link for VJoy and virtual control are both present in the description box below. First download the VJoy one and then proceed with the virtual controller. So uh, like assuming that you have downloaded the VJoy and virtual controller by now, let's open the virtual controller because you have to nothing do with VJoy. VJoy is just a device driver. To make the computer understand that our mouse will act like a joystick so it's just a virtual joystick driver and you have to do nothing just install it and leave it the main thing what we have to do is with this virtual control application so let's open this and now you can see three options main settings and help so if you have not set up anything by now you can watch the video or you can skip it ahead so like assuming that you have nothing zero profiles right now or zero setup then you have to first go at settings IO devices and make sure you have mouse here because by default it was only keyboard if you don't see any mouse here click setup click mouse and make sure it's enabled and then you can just exit the window now go to virtual tab if there is vjoy1 good you can pro proceed with the next step if you don't see any vjoy1 device listed here make sure to click setup and add generic vjoy and make sure it's enabled and the driver status is installed because this is the same driver which we had installed with vjoy so as i told you earlier vjoy is just a driver and nothing else to control that driver we need a software which is this virtual controller so make sure it's enabled here and then you can exit this window now if you want you can manage your own controls here but i have already made three profiles for you which you can change with just one click on a keyboard so if you want to see where your profiles are you can click load and you will directly go to the directory of your virtual controller profiles if you don't want to do this you can manually go to local disk c which is your operating system folder program files virtual controller and then select the profiles here now go to the link in the description below uh, the google drive link so make sure you click that link and download the profiles you will get that profiles in a zip format and it will be written profiles by technical guide kv which is my channel name and after downloading it extract it or you can if you know how to do it with winrar extracting with winrar directly to that folder you can do that or for simple method you can just extract it here to a folder and then select all control a this copy it you can manually manually also go to the program files virtual controller profiles and paste it here assuming that i have pasted just pasted the profiles here it was not here before and i have clicked paste it and now i have these three profiles so we are halfway done with the setup it, this is a loop actually so if you load the disabled profile and run your virtual controller and you click the comma button on your keyboard then you will jump to rudder setting rudder profile after that if you again click the do not hold you have to click so if you click comma key you will jump to the side stick profile and the rudder will stop working or so okay so your rudder axis will stop working and now you can only control the side stick which is the elevator pitch up and pitch down now when you are on the side stick profile and you again press the com comma button then the profile will be disabled now you can use a mouse to look anywhere in the cockpit or anywhere in the microsoft flight simulator without making your 
प्लेन चेंज इट्स एलिवेटर और रडर पोजिशनिंग सो इन यर फ्यूचर इफ यू फेस एनी प्रॉब्लम विद द लूप इफ द लूप स्टॉप वर्किंग मेक श्योर यू डिलेट द ऑटो सेव एग्जिट दिस ओपन द वर्चुअल कंट्रोलर एंड लोड योर डिजेबल्ड प्रोफाइल और एनी प्रोफाइल विच यू वॉन्ट देन यू कैन जस्ट स्टार्ट द लूप अगैन विद द कॉमा की वी आर हाफ वे ऑलरेडी डन विद द सेटअप नाउ द थिंग इज टू सेट दीज कंट्रोल्स इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फ्लैट सिमुलेटर सो लेट्स डू दैट सो गाइज वी आर बैक इन द सिम्यूलेटर राइट नाउ एंड लेट्स सेटअप द माउस एक्सेस इन आर प्रोफाइल्स इन आर कंट्रोल प्रोफाइल सो वी कैन यूज आर माउस एज रडर एंड योक और साइड स्टिक at the same time so now you can see that there is a vjoy device in our control options so now we can use our mouse which is our virtual joystick for the computer right now and we can set the controls here as you can see i have already done this before because i had to test before making a video for you now the rudder axis and the elevator axis the rudder axis as you know it it's it's a left and right movement so we have to use the x axis for it so if you want to set up this controls you can for if you don't see any other controls make sure you are in the all filter so you can now see every other thing which you can control with your mouse or a virtual joystick which is our mouse only for windows right now so rudder axis now it's not moving anything here because the program is disabled right now we'll we'll enable it and check it and i know it's working so no need to worry about that the rudder axis is x axis you can select here and make sure you sel open this drop down list and uh, navigate to joystick l axis x don't do minus and plus make sure you don't select the a uh, rudder axis left and right and manu left and right because we have to use rudder axis not decrease and increase movement so if you want things to work like an original joystick make sure you set your rudder you set your axis x no plus and minus after x just the axis x in the rudder axis only setting same is the case with the elevator axis don't use elevator pitch up and pitch down and set your y minus and y plus just use the elevator axis and set to the y axis which is up and down now let's enable our virtual controller as you can see this is our virtual controller run this thing so now the things are working and you will see the slider going on okay maybe it's in the disabled thing right now let me press the comma Yes now you can see we we are in the axis which is the we were in the disable so first it will go to rudder you cannot directly off it so first rudder comes now again i am pressing the comma now the elevator axis will move see the elevator axis is moving up and down and the rudder has stopped moving and only the elevator is working so like after taxiing on the runway when you are fully stable at a high speed you can just directly switch to the axis elevator axis joystick y and pull your nose or side stick then you can make your aircraft go in the air and then just press again the comma and now both the movements are disabled and then you can fully control your cockpit let me show you a live example airbus a320 neo has been loaded this is the rudder and this is the elevator now the things are disabled and hence they are not moving now let me press the comma button and this rudder this turquoise color rudder on the back will start moving comma key press c left moving my mouse left will make this go and stay at the left position only and then right imagine i am taxiing or start starting my take off so i can control this rudder till 100 or my v1 speeds then i can switch to the elevator now this thing will work this is the side stick of the airbus boeing will have a yoke here but see this i think i have disabled it yeah see now the side stick moves and also you can see in the display that now it's on the front which means the elevator which is down by some 10 degrees and now when i'm pulling it back it's neutral position right now and then to get airborne 
I will have to rotate the stick on the VR speeds. So 5 to 10 degree rotation is perfect. You can increase the sensitivity because the uh, uh, push sensitivity is higher and the pull sensitivity is lower. So pulling is uh, difficult uh, it's little slower also and difficult it requires more surface area because sensitivity is low if you increase your sensitivity then you will not need much surface movement of your mouse to pull the stick now as you can see I can pull only till 5 degrees right now but still it's way enough but of course the experience is much better than using your sh keyboard now let me show you an example of the smooth taxiing so let me first disable everything see now it stopped moving and let me give a few throttle so I can start moving release the par parking brakes and then again idle the throttle because the aircraft does not require too much of throttle to move now you can see the things are disabled I can freely move my mouse without any issues no rudder and no elevator thing are moving I can easily control all the buttons in the aircraft cockpit now if I want to start taxiing I can just press the comma and see now what a smooth taxiing very smooth so as you can see the taxiing is smooth and now let me show you the takeoff okay let's 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 do that right now let let's do that throttle to 80 percent yeah and now i will just use my elevator trim after let's see what happens yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay i'm st still this is much better than a keyboard because on keyboard you will just go left and right on the runway okay i can start my pushback it's way smoother than keyboard way smoother nice so as you can see we are airborne right now and the display is going telling us to set the lever to climb position so as you can see this control is much better than using a keyboard and now i can press the comma key again to make sure the airplane does not go uh, change its elevator positioning so now as you can see I have pressed the comma key and now the side stick is not moving and all the profiles are disabled so I can set my flaps to I can retract my flaps and now the speed is increasing and we are at a safe elevator level so we can set the throttle to climb and now the aircraft is fully stable in the air and we are going for a higher altitude without any issues you can enable the autopilot here and set any altitude which you want 8000 and also the direction of the aircraft so now we are airborne so and if you found this video helpful make sure you like share with others also so they can use their mouse to fly the airplane and use it as a virtual joystick so they don't have to pay money for another expensive side stick so make sure you like share and also subscribe for more interesting videos like this on Microsoft Flight Simulator and Airbus A320 Neo or any other stuff related to C. So thank you for watching this video. Till then, goodbye.